Ah, Deji, Deji, Deji. Little boy Deji. The potential to be great, but he lacks hard work. He lacks consistency. He lacks progressing in the gym. Oh, he 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 lacks the no quitting attitude. Hold on, it's right there. He lacks. He lacks the losing the weight. He 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 lacks. He lacks the actual courage to keep on going when the going gets tough. He he lacks. What does he lack? He lacks everything. That has to do with a boxer. Everything. This guy has no boxing inside of him. Zero. Where's that video? Where's it? Like, I'm sorry. This nigga got booze, bro. That's not Deji with Dao Savage. He looking way... Hold on. Where's that clip? Oh my fucking god. Hold on, where is he? Where is it? Dow did you that was savage way There's a show Okay uh, they're gonna tr they're trying to hide it, fair enough, they're trying to hide it. But you get my point. And even Floyd May with the fight. What is this, brother? What is this? This guy has never been in shape. The closest he's ever been in shape was when KSI told him to lose to get a six pack for one million dollars, bro. And he didn't. And the reason I'm talking about KSI, I'm sorry about Deji, the potential, the few he could be the future of influencer boxing. If he just trained hard, he could be great. Maybe, but I don't think he'll ever get a six pack. I don't think he'll ever actually Pull in the work to actually progress himself to actually be a better boxer. I should be a better boxer. He has never trained him. He's never had a proper full camp before. Maybe had he maybe had a proper full camp against Fuji Tube and Swarms, but even when the camp with Swarms, there was some there was some error. There was some problems. So the only full camp he probably had, I know even with the full camp with even with the camp with. Fugitive, there was a problem. So he's never had a proper full camp. He's never actually put his head down, actually focused, and actually had a had his weight on, like you know, had a had a proper fighting weight. He's never been in fighting weight, never ever, bro. But people want to give him chances. People want to give him chances, bro. Like I'm sorry. The reason I'm talking about because the reason I'm talking about him is because. The uh the recent uh, the recent Mr. Mr. Nineteen in the guitar in the guitar in guitar, uh one of the best influencer boxing events I've ever seen and it actually brought back influencer boxing boxing. I actually tried to watch I actually tried to watch the whole event in part in part in like you know in a in some private website. It actually kind of worked, but some, there were some technical difficulties. But it was a it was that was uh that was actually the first time I've I've ever actually watched an influencer boxing event. Pirated since the prime card. I've never actually tried to watch a whole influence boxing event since the prime card, and that's the truth. Before, after the prime card, I did never care about any influence boxing events. I watched the highlights of, of some. I watched the highlights, of, highlights of most of the events, but I don't actually care to watch it live because it actually kind of died down. But this Mr. Latino event brought it back up. There were so many fights: Sapa versus King Kenny, obviously uh, Jarvis versus Ben Williams. Way plan returns to fight head sticks like and I can't wait to weapon the way plan to fuck him up. Um the main one was Slim is King Kenny. I really I'm oh, sorry, Slim was Gib. I really wanted to slim to him because he's Yemeni, I'm Yemeni. But sadly Gib was too much. So Gib Gib dominated all the rounds. Gib was doing his thing. But Slim there's a lot of bruises up from the back of the head. And and apparently Slim's knuckles are busted. So I believe Slimification, you know, Slim. Who is like the the face of influencer boxing, the face of misfits, is probably gonna take at least two years off of boxing. He took a whole year off of boxing after a huge win against Salt, but after his broken knuckles, bruises at the back of the head, his face is a bit his face is a bit fucked up. He's probably gonna take about two years off of boxing, so we're not gonna see him for a very long time. But for Deji, motherfucker, for Deji, how many minutes have been on? Four minutes already. But for Deji, bro, what's going on, man? His recent fight it was against. It was against Dao with Savage, bro. Dao was who's all on fire, by the way. He was lost to Salt Poppy and some other top top uh, influencer boxers. Mm. 
I thought his, I thought his, uh, what do you call it? Uh, his comeback fight, his comeback fight would be against Alex Wasabi or someone that could, like someone that could be credible. Why are we giving Deji another warm up fight? It doesn't make sense. He doesn't need it. He's been in the game for five years. He's been in the game since since Jake Paul's debut, and Jake Paul's debut has it's it's been five years, six years now. Jake Paul's development has been so progressive. He's he's above the influence of boxing scene. If Deji had the same work ethic as Jake Paul, he could possibly be above the influence of boxing scene. Yes, he has the potential, but potential and talent means absolutely fuck all if you don't put the work in, and Deji's the perfect example of that. Deji was struggling, struggling against some guy, some some random some guy who named Dao Savage. I knew I know about Dao Savage. I used to watch his videos back in the day. He's some a, a Muslim comedian guy, and I used to watch his videos. And I'm just very disappointed that Deji, who had all this talent, who has all who had all these years of experience in the boxing influence boxing scene. Actually, actually lost rounds against Dao Savage. He lost two rounds against Dao Savage, and the third round where he beat Dao Dao Savage and knocked him out, it which was, was a very bizarre knockdown. It was just a, it was just a letdown. And then on Instagram, he said, "Oh, I'm sorry. It was a really terrible performance. I'll do better next time." And Tessa even said on uh, said on said on his Instagram. How many times have you heard this? And he's right. How many times have you heard Deji De De say, "Oh, I'm sorry, guys. I'm, I'm, I'm look, look, guys. I know I disappoint, disappointed you, but please, I'll do better next time." How many times do we have to give this fucker a chance? I tell you, actually goes to fighting weight. I tell you, actually fights someone. I tell you, actually fights a credible opponent. Actually beats them, and in, in a very entertaining fight. This is a disgraceful, bro. Let's watch this video and let's give, like, let's see why his thoughts about this disgraceful performance, bro. Because holy shit, if you watch this, the Mr. Stein in Qatar card, you'll understand. Because this show was just this was this was the worst part of the Mr. Qatar card. Deji ruined this card. Without Deji, if Deji wasn't there, and if Deji wasn't there before credible point, it would make sense. But if Deji wasn't there at all and they added someone else in, it would have been ten times better. But Deji against Dao so it would just ruin the whole card for me, man. It didn't ruin the whole card, but it was just like a letdown. But let's just watch this video and see what it says. All right, what's up, guys? It's Deji. Now, obviously, I feel like I can be honest with you guys, so I'm going to be honest, okay? Maybe you guys hate this or like this. I feel like I owe a lot of you an explanation and everything regarding me boxing. If I'm being so honest with myself, and maybe a lot of you guys can see, I've kind of lost the motivation to box. I love boxing. I, I think boxing's amazing. It's done a lot for me, but I feel like I've lost that drive. Obviously, when I had my fight with Jake Paul, that was my first ever a fight and I lost it but I, I was motivated to still win then I had my fight with Vinny Hacker and unfortunately I lost that one too I did not take that fight seriously I was too overconfident uh, regarding my opponent and I just from this whole video I'm just assuming that is the main motivation of why he kept going was because he lost he lost three times and that main motivation of him keeping going of him Keep of him trying to keep going and trying to actually keep going on, on that love for boxing was because he he has never won a fight before, and that fight against Fujitube peaked against Deji. Deji's peak was against Fujitube. Out of everyone, Deji's peak, Deji's talent was against Fujitube. If you think about it now, do you know how fucking embarrassing that is? Deji's first ever victory was against victory was against Fujitube. And after that, he just peaked there. Yes, he did big. He did be against. He did face. He did face Worms. I showed his talent. I showed his talent and skills there. But after that, nothing. Just disgrace. Nothing there. Nothing. Because he only won two fights. And then what else? What what else is the motivation? He never said he wanted to be the best influencer boxer. He just said in in, in a, all of his videos of him of uh, every time he loses a fight in all of his videos he says, "I'm sorry. I loved. Um." Uh, uh, I love the the game of boxing. I'll 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 keep doing my best. Please give me a chance. He's never once said he never won, he never stated. I don't think he ever stated that he's the best influencer boxer. Actually, he did it a couple of times in in this shit. He always said he's the best influencer boxer. Uh, a couple of times he said he, I, I could be one of the best influencer boxers. He said he could be Alex Wasabi. He said he could be Brasol and Slim. But that's what I'm talking trash. He real he realizes if he ever faces them faces them he faces them now he'll get fucked up because he knows anything about that life, bro. I th I'm, I'm predicting that he's gonna probably retire from influencer boxing because he has zero motivation. And I can tell, bro. 
Pretty obvious. It was too overconfident uh, regarding my opponent, and I just. I didn't really train. I was my training was McDonald's. If I'm being honest, that's that was how wide I can open my jaw. Pause. I relax yourself. Then I had my fight with Alex Wasabi, my third fight, and I was then striving hard to win. But unfortunately, I did not win that fight. I let my I let doubts creep into my mind, and then and as you can see, I still had drive because I wanted to get that win. Then I had my fight with Fuzi, and fortunately, have drive. Alex was up, just jabbed, jabbed you the fuck down and made, made you look like his bitch. Bro, Alex, Alex bitched you, bro. You did fuck all. You did, you did, you ran away like a fucking coward, bro. You were scared from a punch against Alex, bro. Alex was up, was all, Alex wasn't throwing that many powerful punches. He was just, all Alex had to do was just jab you. Because Alex didn't, didn't really have to do much. He didn't have to do much. He didn't. I just want to do his jab, a couple, a couple of combos, that's it. Because Deji wasn't a threat to you. Deji wasn't a threat to him. Deji was not a threat to Alex Wasabi because he didn't show it. Saying, so, oh, I was always drive, striving. You weren't doing shit. Holy shit, man. I had drive because I wanted to get that win. Then I had my fight with Fuzi and fortunately I won. I that won that fight and I was happy. That was probably one of the best feelings I've ever felt ever. To this day, like I will never ever forget that feeling. It was it was immense. It's the most popular Misfits fight. That fight is the most popular. And oh. I, I can understand why because people were with me throughout my journey. I was just on a losing streak and I wanted to show people that don't give up. Even when people are against you because I had had a lot of people against me i still carried on and i wanted to just show people that i i can i can do this that this is a sport for me and i showed that when i fought fuzi then my next fight after that was floyd as you can see i was hitting thresholds i won my fight and then fought floyd i then won my next fight i i've i've i felt like i can basically completed boxing for myself. I felt like I didn't need to do this anymore, but I still wanted to fight. This fight that I had recently, I wanted to fight. I really wanted to fight. I had the motivation to fight, but then I had three three opponents pull out. Initially, I was meant to fight a reality TV star by the name of Joey Essex. Yeah, I, heard about that, yeah. I had a whole plan for Joey Essex. I was gonna clown him. I was gonna make the most out of that. I was I was ready. I was telling mams, I was telling abs, I want this fight and I, and I, and I I'm gonna show you that I want this fight. And then unfortunately, I got news that he dropped out. Then I was meant to fight someone else, they dropped out. I was meant to fight someone else, they dropped out. So as you can see, my motivation for this fight wasn't there. But then I have to ask myself, do I really want to box again? That's the real- You fought three celebrity Donnies, and of course they pulled out. Why would they fight someone who knows how to do who knows how to box? And of course he's at his peak. Okay, so of course he's at his peak now because he beat Fuji Team in a very dominant dominant fashion. Then he fought Mayweather. No influencer boxer has ever fought Mayweather in the world of the Misfit team and the influencer boxers. He no one's ever fought Mayweather except for Deji. That was a height. That was higher than Fuji Team. Then after that he beat Swarms. Three back-to-back -back victories, bro. Obviously, didn't didn't beat May Mayweather, but that's still a win either way. So three back-to-back -back victories. So he was, he was peaking like crazy. So it's understandable for Deji to think, what's the point? I faced Mayweather. No, no influencer boxer. No, no KSI, Jake Paul, or fucking Gabe can compete with Mayweather. He fought Mayweather. He, he and he actually fucked up his eye. He peaked. So there was no reason for Deji to keep continuing. So it makes sense. But for him to return to fight Dao Savage, for him to uh, to fight and th fight three random opponents instead of Al Sabi, showed that he was he was never one. He never wanted to fight Al Sabi. All talking trash, bro. All talking trash. You know what I'm saying? The fuck. Deji was at his peak, bro. So of course there was no reason to fight fucking uh what'd you call it? Alex Wasabi. Perfect but for all that talking trash, what was the point of you of you saying that you could be Alex Wasabi, you could be Slim, you could be Bryce? All that trash talk just for you to have just for you to end up trying to fight Joey Essex, bro. Get out.
it wasn't there but then i have to ask myself do i really want to box again that's the real question and i've kind of come to grips with it that right now right now as as we are i feel like i need to focus on something else and like and that being i want to focus on youtube i want to focus on other things outside of youtube i don't know i i have a few things in the works that i would like to show you guys coming up so to answer the question am i motivated to box right now currently no i'm not i'm not motivated will i be in the future 100%. This isn't me retiring. This is me saying that I need to put my mind on something else. Focus on something else because there's a lot I can be doing to motivate me. For instance, fitness. Fitness is very important to me. I know you guys are probably laughing and clowning. I'm laughing right now. <laughs> fitness is important to you? But this guy's been in and out, fitness, in and out, in and out, in and out. Maybe this time, maybe this time that he's semi-retired from boxing because it's been a year since he since he fought so after after that disgraceful performance hopefully in this project that he will be doing he will actually show his journey through him getting a six pack finally so hopefully that, that that'll be his next project fitness fitness is very important to me i know you guys are probably laughing and clowning saying oh fitness but you're fat by the way i have a don't forget to like, subscribe, and share, and turn on notifications while you're uploading. Like if you, if you, if you, if you are, if you are, if you have been in this video since since what, sixty minutes now, bro. Don't forget to like, turn on notifications on my channel. The same, just the same I did for Daddy's channel. Don't forget to go in the description. I click that little bell button. Okay, sorry. Don't forget to go in the description and join my link tree. All my social media is gonna be in my link tree, and I also have a Discord server. Please join my Discord server. And experience that family bond, that another nation. And if you join that Discord server, I'm telling you, you're not your semen retention will be very strong, and you and every like you do will grow your cocoa jumbo to the moon. <coughs> Fuck. <laughs> I'll show you my journey to fitness. I've already decided that I'm going to keep training, keep being fit. I want to stay healthy and I want to essentially show my journey to me being healthy. So that being said, yes, I, I will most probably make a documentary as well on my fitness journey because I, I, I want to oh, see a documentary. I can't wait for that. I want to watch that shit, bro. I want to watch it, bro. Yes, I, I will most probably make a documentary as well on my fitness journey because I, I, I want to show people that you can also do it too, that it's not tough. So yeah, uh, I just thought I'd be honest with you guys and tell you the truth. This isn't me making an excuse, okay? Win or lose for that fight I had recently with Dawood. If I lost that fight, I, I, I would have just taken it on the chin. Simple as that. Like in my life, I, I never want to blame. I feel like that's what losers do. Losers blame, they point fingers and I don't want to be a loser. I want to show people that I'm a winner. So. That's that's why I will never point the blame on anything. The only thing at fault here was myself and my mentality. I wasn't 100% for this fight. I wasn't motivated at all. So that's the truth oh, of it. So yeah, you will see me in the ring again. Don't worry, 100%. I want to show you guys that I can really, really fight. I'm pretty sure a lot of you guys already know I can. But yeah, in terms of motivation, I, I want to focus on other things. So as like that being said, like this video, subscribe. And I hope to, I hope you guys join me on this journey because this journey will be amazing. I promise you that. Anyway, guys, take care. Interesting. Okay. A very interesting take from Deji, saying that he'll be, you know, ready to take from Deji, saying that he won't be re fully retired, but, he'll, but he will have, he will, but he will take a break from, you know, but we'll, we'll take a break from, you know, uh, from boxing, and he'll be doing different projects, and he'll do on on go through his fitness journey, and hopefully he will progress. He'll, he'll progress from there. So I'll definitely, if he does a documentary, I'll definitely, I'll definitely follow his fitness journey all the way through his six pack, have a sexy body. You know what I'm saying? But that that what do you call that slim that what do you call it, that extra sub rematch? It will never happen. I'm telling you, it will never happen. And this guy was never. This guy wasn't even motivated. Wasn't even motivated to, to fight against that was savage. It's finished. It's actually finished. He was never, he wasn't even motivated. He wasn't even motivated to fight that with so much. So, uh, in terms of Deji, for the influence of boxing team, it just seemed like he'll probably never actually fight any credible opponents. He said he'll fight in the future, but realistically, he only wants to fight celebrity fights because he he, he peaked against FuseTube, 
Then you thought Floyd Mayweather. Then you thought Swarms. If that's that's peak, that's already peak. That's peak. It's too much. It's too much. It's too much. It's too much. Too much power. Too much power. So I think it's already done. Yeah. So him find Slim. He find Alex Wasabi. He find Bryce Hall. He find any credible uh big name influencer boxing uh, boxing boxers. Realistically, it will never happen. But I would love to. I would definitely follow his fitness journey all the way to the six to the six pack. And yeah, it's it's an interesting take. But it's just, it's just the same shit all over again. Saying he, he lost motivation, all the other shit. That's like like his last other three fights he lost. But I like this take. I, I finally realizes that. Finally, I I guess he realizes that he just he just him losing motivation, and it makes sense. Like after you fight Floyd Mayweather, what else is what else are you gonna do? What else are you gonna do? You're an influencer boxer. And you fought Floyd Mayweather. It's peaked. You already peaked, bro. You know what I'm saying? It's already peaked. So, uh, that's how I think about it. What do y'all think about it? Do y'all think uh, Deji responds to, to his disgraceful, disgraceful, disgraceful performance? Was it a good response? Was it a bad response? Tell me in the comments below. But other than that, don't forget to like, subscribe, and share. Don't forget to join my Discord server link in the description. Don't forget to click my little bell button so you don't miss any new uploads. See you in the next video. Bye. Goofies.